<clears throat> hey guys and welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we have the CRJ 200 United in the new livery. I don't know if this is 2019 or 2018, but you know, it's it's the, it's the new with the blue engines and the brighter color. I personally like this livery only on the um on the regional jets. Other jets uh like this 777 or 787 I, I like the um the the older livery the with the so um let's just get into the review so let me grab my pointer we have the Gemini Jets logo at the top with the made for collectors by collectors right there we have the um clip up of the model right here or the sorry I just had dinner so of the aircraft right here we have the Bombardier Bombardier, I don't know, Bombardier, I don't know how to pronounce it, you can tell me in the comments. Uh, CRJ 200, you have the white band with the United, with the United and their Continental logo. Um, you also have one in 400 scale die cast aircraft model, and then look inside. On the left side, we have the Gemini Jets logo again, the clip art of the aircraft. Again, what the aircraft is, and then we have this, the model. So it's a 1 in 400 scale, die cast model, and the item number. <clears throat> the, uh, I guess, bottom side has the Gemini Jets logo, has 1 in 400 die cast model once again, and has highly collectible superior, superiority quality, or superior quality, realistic metal landing gear, which I will, I opened this box already and looked at the landing gear. We will. I'll tell you guys about that. Deta detailed printed graphics and as real as it gets features. Now on the other side, same as the other one, we have the Gemini Jets logo, the clip part of the aircraft, what the aircraft is, and then the item number. Now the back of the aircraft has the aircraft climbing, the, the clip art climbing, Gemini Jets logo, the sky background, and then as they're saying, as real as it gets, and then Gemini Jets bring you the highest quality socials right here don't forget to follow them uh made in china and this is a 2021 release so the information about the aircraft is right there i will give you a minute to read that All right, and just a comparison to the uh, box size, I will bring in the 747-8 box from the last, from the previous unboxing and show you the complete and sheer tininess of this model. So here is this, here is the, the 747-8 box. Let me, I gotta put it back so it's actually in view. And then here's the uh, CRJ 200 box. Let me move my camera up. There we go. So it's right there. So it, it is a ginormous. That, that is a tiny plane. So let's move this out of the way. We'll be comparing the two models after. So then you have the model inside with the plastic covering. Now this is the um, the first I think CRJ I have. I do have the Q four hundred. Um, I'll be doing an unboxing on that. Some aircraft I will be doing an unboxing, even though, you know, I already have them on, the, on display. Like, if you follow my Instagram, which I will put in the, uh, in the bottom below. I have some models that I will be unboxing. Like, I'll show you an unboxing, but on my Instagram, you've already seen that I've, uh, like, posted about them. And put airport updates. So, here is the model itself. Um, I'll just... I'm gonna put the box back together. So this aircraft is the, again, CRJ 200 from Gemini Jets. Um, I was surprised that this model didn't sell out quickly. Uh, again, I don't really know if it did. Let me make sure it focuses on the aircraft itself. Let me, let me. There we go. Um, I'm surprised it didn't sell out, but again, I only I only looked at two websites, so. Uh, the one website I 
do prefer to buy off did have some, it sold out. So let's move closer to the aircraft to see what it looks like. So here it is, in all its glory. You can zoom in a bit. So let's start with the nose of the aircraft. We have the uh, Okay, so you have the nose cone right here. You got your antennas and other things the uh, plane uses to, like, I guess, know where it's at. Uh, you have the Star Alliance logo here. You got the, uh, I don't know what this writing is here. I can't read it. Uh, you have the, I guess, right. This is the right door, basically, the, the catering door. You have the United Express, with the United being in bold, bold blue, and the Express being in a bold, I guess, silver-ish. Moving back, we have the emergency exit, uh, or yeah, emergency exit and emergency cutout exit. You have the wing here with really good detail. Um, no step on here, and then here's the winglet, the yeah wingtip. And here's the little light right there. And back to the registration is November 246 Papa Sierra. And then here's the engine number one and engine number two. Engines look very good. And then here's the one thing that kind of made me at ease with buying the aircraft was um, the way that these were put together. As you can see, there's a little gap right here. That's not gonna bug me too much, saying how small it is. Like, here's a toothpick compared to the size of it. It is absolutely tiny. So the size of it just kind of makes it away, but when I was, you know, looking at it, it was like, oh, okay, that doesn't look really good. So then you have the APU exhaust right here, under, to, under the, like, engine mount, I would say. And then here's the back of the aircraft. Uh, I wonder if, could I, could I do that, or does it make it upside down? I don't know, I'll check that later in the, when I'm editing, I guess. Um, so here's the, the engine exhaust there and there, the landing gear, I had to glue this one. Uh, the gear right out, and then you have the next wing right here. And then the, again, the United logos with the beacon light right there. So. Let me switch this back down, I'm not switching it. Uh, looking at the model from the front view, the nose looks really good. I, I do say it looks, you know, it looks like the aircraft. Um, I'm not noticing anything besides, you know, these are a little off-centered from the windshield, but I mean, at this scale, it's not gonna matter much. Like, I'm zoomed in really far, so you can see it, but normally, right now, like, from my point of view, just looks like a black line. So let's look at the underbelly of the aircraft and see what we have there. I always hate doing this one to the aircraft, but. Okay, so here's the underbelly. You have the, uh, um, okay, there we go. So you have the, right here, the CRJ200, I know it's upside down, uh, the landing lights, and then the landing gear, which, yeah, they're they're metal, and they don't actually have the full wheel, uh, like, you know, painted yet. Yeah, and also, another thing I'm noticing right now is they don't actually have the, uh, door, the gear door. Not even, like, painted or anything. Like, there's no detail in the gear door whatsoever. Uh, they should, I wish they did that, but I don't know why they didn't. Here is the beacon lights, and the landing lights for the wings, and then here is the gear I had to glue. This one was fine. I don't like the way the gear is, but it's already glued in. This one I had to re-glue. And then the, uh, Gemini Jets logo right here. You have your, where, your stand. I don't know how you put that thing on a stand. And then some other sensors. This is, like, for your altitude. So basically sends a signal there like that. And this, I do not know what that is. So, overall review of the model. It is very nice, but very tiny. It feels like it's, it will break with just my, you know, like holding it. 
So, like I said, I will be putting it up close to the Boeing 747-8, the largest aircraft. Or, I don't know. This aircraft is officially longer than the A380, but I, the wingspan is shorter. So, here is the two aircraft put together. As you can see, it completely dwarfs. The, the gear almost is as tall as the aircraft. So, yeah, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I am looking forward to make more and have a safe day. Or yeah, I need to, I need to work on that on the outro. See you guys later. Goodbye.